Hello everyone, this is Rocco coming at you for a, a, another full self-driving video. This is 11.4.7 with a trailer as you can see. We are headed off to Lowe's and into Harbor Freight uh, today and we're going to pick up some supplies to do some projects. Uh, I wanted to say a big thank you to the people who uh, give me support down in the comments. I, I really appreciate the kind kind words and um, I, I think it was Robbie that gave a super chat. I don't don't expect that at all, um, but I very much appreciate that type of support. That that's pretty amazing. I really appreciate that. Um, so that don't don't feel obligated to give me money just because I say I want to get paid to do this. I just I just honestly I wish I could just keep it as a hobby. Um, but to, to put out that many videos takes a tremendous amount of time. They, these are the fun videos because th this is something unique I can bring that essentially no one else can. No one else has a trailer. Um, I think Ash on um, X now. Uh, uh, has a trailer um, and it chose basically the same way. Um, But yeah, uh, we're gonna see how it works, uh, see if there's any major issues with getting off the highway, and that is a Taycan. I do see those occasionally around here, it's pretty rare, but you see them. And we're gonna see how, if you guys are, are interested in efficiency numbers, we'll have our graph up here for consumption. Of course, we haven't gone five miles yet. We've only gone two miles. Um, the sits charge is me driving around in my driveway to go get the trailer. But, um, so it shouldn't be too much different. It's only you know, a few hundred feet of moving around the driveway. But we're gonna see, we're gonna keep it at 65 mile an hour with the trailer attached. That is our standard efficiency. That's what the tires are rated on this trailer are for 65 miles an hour and so that's that's the speed I'm going to keep and I forget if I go down the 55 I think I go keep it at 60 going uh, down in the 55 section just to kind of keep a consistent speed profile so again if you guys have questions about the trailer about the setup about how it functions definitely put a comments down below and I'll be glad to answer what I can several times I've not needed it um, but um, we're gonna see how it gets off the highway here I have a feeling it's gonna get off too late and I have a truck behind me so we're gonna disengage if this is the case I can easily start going now Wow interesting have I been off this maybe I haven't been off this yet in 11 that 4 that 7 maybe they fixed it I haven't been on off this ramp yet, 11 not before that said, maybe they fixed it. I hope so, because that was a lot better, especially with the trailer. Now this is good. And it was, honestly, before it was quite dangerous. And slow down, yep. Um, it, it wasn't safe the way it was getting off the highway before, so I'm glad if that is fixed, I'm glad they did. This is always a tricky light here because you have the two red lights and the two green lights. Uh, it's only ever messed up one time. 
and all of beta testing, which is surprising to me. And that it's ever messed up at this these lights here. Okay, so every time it seems to, I think every time it's messed up here. So there's uh, this splits the two lanes. One turns right here, and one goes straight through. But it's not; they aren't aligned, and so the car always messes up right here. And so we're gonna see how it does. So it also turns on the blinker a little bit early. See where that car in front of me turned on the blinker? That's where my car should turn on the blinker. So we're following the same route this car is following. So watch closely. See it kind of jogs to the right. Also, okay, I didn't want to go in this route, but this is this is the way Nav has me going in. So we actually made it for the first time, I think. Well, I think unless I'm misremembering, what zero disengagement's two lows with the trailer, mind you. So we are going way over on this side of the parking lot. Uh, please see me. We're going over here. See if I can get it to line up here. Oh, wrong one. Backing up a trailer is not for the faint of heart. There we go. There we go. Okay, I'll see you when you're back out, everyone. And we're back, everyone. Just to kind of give an idea of what we're hauling, we have another three, four by six treated post. We have some um, one by six by eight um, planks um, treated as well, only because they were a third the price of the pre-primed ones. So I'm just gonna wait for them to dry out and paint them myself. Um, and then a hundred feet of corrugated pipe for drainage it's great having a trailer so we are actually going to go to Harbor Freight and now we are picking up a plate compactor so you can see we're just going to, right across the road but we're gonna keep on the I don't know if we are good to go. I'm pressing accelerator just to get it to keep on going. Okay. Do not let me forget to <laughs> strap that down more. That that was pretty tight, but I can tell it's it's gonna get a lot of air time. So okay. So what it did the last time is I thought it just kind of coasted through this red light. Okay, no, we want to get through this yellow light. Because this is a long light to not get through. Is it going to turn in here? Hey. Yeah, a little bit of a harsh break right here, but hey. Um, yeah, so okay, well, zero disengagements for that short drive. It actually um, now works better at that red light. So we're going to go on Harbor Freight and then we'll uh, come back on the way out. Hey everyone, we are at Harbor Freight and got a plate compactor and make fun of my straps. It's not going anywhere. <laughs> that's that's fun. Onyx has been chilling in the car at dog mode. He fell asleep. We're gonna go home a different way as to avoid the less highway. We are taking a different route. Instead of going this way to the highway, we're gonna take this way to the highway. There's a giant bump in the road, which I think last video there was machinery to um, fix it. But I do not want this trailer going over that. As you saw, we have a 200 pound plate compactor back there. A bunch of lumber and some tube. We're gonna see 
how we can get home safely, basically. This is probably the heaviest I've ever had the trailer, just be... Let's see what that does. That seemed pretty stable can't really see the top of it. I can through the rear view mirror. Right, we're gonna make a left turn here. I think see how we have a car behind us now. It's a lot harder to get out in traffic when you have a trailer behind you. Cause I could have made that. I wish you guys could see the B pillar footage. Now we got the people walking out on the road from our left. I can't back up because the person's behind me. Now we got this person going, Jesus. Okay, now we can go. Now we're gonna enable full self driving. I'm not gonna trust it leaving that parking lot. And we're gonna put it on chill mode. I forgot to do that on the way out, uh, so it was on my normal profile. I saw that stop sign there and thought I needed to stop. So you don't really get the C. I, wa I want to see do like a range, like figure out efficiency towing this trailer at different speeds. Eventually my goal is to get a side by side. Fortunately the electric one is just not going to happen because they're like thirty to forty thousand dollars and I don't want to spend more than ten. Um, but I'd be curious because I want to tow it with this before I get my Cybertruck. I want to delay getting a Cybertruck as long as possible due to the cost. And well, I want to see what my efficiency, efficiency will be. I'm expecting half range. So, you know, if I get 300 miles of range normally, I would get 150 <laughs> with the trailer. Of course, that's here range. So it's not fully maybe 50%, maybe like 40% less range. So this road should be familiar to a lot of you. My first test here, 11.4.7, very end of this road where this point is, is where uh, I went to that furniture sale. Also, I don't think this, this road is 30. This road is 45 mile an hour. Pretty sure. So, so far, two miles is about 400 watt hours a mile. With um, all this extra stuff on there. It gives a lot more air resistance, for sure. We have this stop sign on the right here. I wonder if it's going to try and stop. Good. It bypass that. So yeah, see it went up to 45 now. Because I'm from a GPS loaded map. I can't wait to version 12 to where it intelligently just reads the road and I'm like, okay, this is how fast it should be going on this type of road. Now that does worry me because I wonder how and because it's gonna do the average of everyone. And so I don't want to be going 10 over on this road. Five over sure. But not with a trailer. I want to be going the speed limit with the trailer. And so it, not that I expect, I have, that's something I'll have to deal with um, just because they're not gonna spend the training resources to work with a trailer. So right here is that sale. So this is equivalent to my first drive. So you want to see two videos ago, or three videos ago, whatever the first 11 that four that seven drive is, will be this exact route going back home. But the difference is we have a trailer. See how it goes. This light up here is definitely going to turn red, I bet. Yep, it's turning red already. So it should be slowing. Good, it's slowing down already. It should be getting in the right lane. See, last time it got in the right lane. Oh, it's not going to do it. <laughs> okay, I should have made it get in the right lane. So last time it got in the right lane, and it was great. This time it has a trailer, and it definitely should have got in the right lane because we're going to make an immediate 
right turn here. So it needs to stay in this lane for the intersection and then change lanes. Hopefully we don't have a car next to us. I hope. Um, otherwise I might have to disengage. Okay, let's see how it does. No one behind us, no one beside me. Okay, I should go ahead and get in the right lane here. And Oh, I wonder if it's because it's in chill mode. That is the only difference. I'm going to go ahead and make it get over because it didn't... And I'm not going to add extra stress for myself for no reason. So it's just stay in this lane until it gets through the light and then it can go into the right lane. Okay, and now it's going to swing over to the right lane. No one commented on this last time, but I'm still curious. I mean, I haven't taught you're not supposed to go through the intersection like that, but this is kind of a weird scenario where, you know, the, the lane starts to meet. Okay. Um, I guess I can go because, okay, that's definitely a disengagement, everyone, because it's, I don't know why it decided to get over like that. And I forgot to leave a voice note. Oh, well, maybe that will find out why. But yeah, um, now let's see if it messes up again here. Hey, it, it didn't mess up this time. That's good. We are drafting a truck, so I wonder how much that plays a role in terms of like aerodynamics with the trailer. Because it definitely helps, you know, maybe 10, 20% at that distance with the car alone. But what about with the trailer? Does it help, you know, 30%? Let's see how it does going through this speed change here. If it, if it's gonna keep the speed up. And it did, but it didn't show the message. So I personally want to go back down to 60 right here. smooth overall it's in I think the extra weight on the axle right there is just ever so slightly in front of the axle for that weight and I think that helps quite a bit with this that trailer bouncing around we are good to go if you want to go car go 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 <laughs> like I like how it says creeping and then it's like its nose is already in the road when it commits and then it commits so slowly there's like this car coming up behind me you can't see. That and my car is just like going slow as molasses. I just don't understand why it does that. Not that it you know, of course not that it can see that car and the speed up, but it still shouldn't have been so slow. Chuck has reported the same thing on his videos. That uh, the car is just so timid going across the intersections, which can actually make it really dangerous. Anyways, um, you saw the disengagement we had um, there. So, was that the only one? Yeah, just a single disengagement for the... Yeah, single disengagement for the whole trip, round trip. That's not bad. Not bad at all. I don't know why it decided to do that last second. But yeah, you guys let me know. If you have questions for me, put them down below. And as always, uh, even though I won't be doing as many videos, I appreciate you guys who are watching. See you in the next one. Bye.